welcome back to my channel. Uh, today, I just wanted to do a quick dorm haul type of thing. Uh, show you what I got, what I'm going to use it for, some tips that I've gotten. And yeah, let's get into it. So I have most of what I need, but not quite everything. Just because even though I am driving and I can bring whatever I want with me, I don't want to pack too much and have to haul a lot over there. But also just because I don't know for sure some of the more detailed things like decorations and I also haven't talked to my sweet mates yet. So with all of that being said, I've gotten a couple things for our bathroom um, that I probably wouldn't have only because I want it to be nice since we're all sharing it. Um, and it's, I don't know, it just seems a little bit more important to me since it's a main area shared space. Some of this is stuff that I already had. Some of it is stuff that I bought. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so one of the first things that I do recommend is getting a laundry backpack. I got mine at Target, but there's also a whole bunch on Amazon and they're pretty cheap. Um, but your laundry is not always going to be very close to your room. And I wouldn't want to have to carry a big, heavy laundry basket, um, especially because some of the like plastic sides can be sharp sometimes. But yeah, this is basically just a drawstring laundry bag with straps for a backpack. And then it has a pouch on the front for you to put in like dryer sheets, Tide Pods, whatever you're bringing with you to do laundry. Uh, so yeah, definitely recommend that. It's cheap, super useful. Next up, I have my sheets. So I personally got silk sheets only because I really like um, having my silk pillowcases at home. And since it's a completely different size bed than the one that I have now, I figured I might as well just get a whole silk sheet set. Um, I found that it's really helped with my like, like fewer dead ends in my hair and my acne as well. I think it's just damaging my hair and skin a lot less than a regular cotton pillowcase would. Um, yeah, so silk sheets, highly recommend them. They can satin sheets. I meant satin sheets. Silk sheets are super expensive. I did not mean to say silk. I meant satin. Satin is just a type of weave. Yeah, satin sheets. Next up is my duvet. So if you don't know what a duvet is, a duvet is basically just a, it's a pillowy type blanket. You can get them to be really cool or pretty warm. It's up to you. I'm obviously going to have a light one because it is Phoenix, Arizona. So it's going to be pretty hot most of the year round. Um, but yeah, I have a duvet on the bed that I have right now and I think it is a game changer. Um, I like them a lot more than comforters. So one, you have a cover to put over it uh, and it usually comes with matching pillowcases also. But that means that instead of having to wash a whole comforter, you basically just watch, wash a sheet that goes over the duvet. Um, it's just like a little sleeve. Again, it's similar to like having a giant pillow for your bed and you just use it as a blanket. So it's fluffy, it has a sheet case that goes over it um and so when you want to wash it you just have to wash the case and it's easy it's thin it doesn't use a lot of water or take a lot of time two i just find it to be a lot more comfortable because it is very light and airy so i can get that weight of a blanket but i don't have to sacrifice still feeling cool and i like to sleep in cold so yeah a duvet just really works for me and I'm not going to take it out of the box only because I'm sure that it's going to like, it's just going to explode. They're very thick. So just gonna stay in here for now. I'll show you guys later when I have my dorm set up, but I'm not opening it until then. Next up, I just have my duvet cover set. I just got a regular set at Target, just like the Rim Essentials brand. So it's pretty cheap. I really wanted white sheets, but Obviously, they might get dirty, so I just didn't want to spend too much on them. And also, a duvet cover doesn't really touch your body that often, so it doesn't have to be super, like, soft or comfortable or anything. Yeah, it's really just 
for decoration and for washing. Next, I have these dryer balls that I got. I just got mine in the dollar store. I was planning to order some on Amazon, but then the dollar store had these and they were super cheap. Um, and basically, you can just use them instead of using a dryer sheet. It's still going to remove most of the static from it. And it's just a more sustainable option. And also dryer sheets can really start to ruin a dryer only because there's oils and microplastics in them. So it can start to really gum up the dryer. And even though I don't own the dryer, I want to consider the fact that like I still have to pay to use them and I'm sure if other students did that, making decisions like that does lead to a longer life for each of the machines, which cuts down my cost and the costs for future students. And also then I can just throw them in my laundry bag and keep them there. And next I have my uh, volleyball knee pads, only because I'm probably gonna play just like in my free time and stuff. So this doesn't necessarily apply to you. It's kind of just a overall thing of like, bring something that's in relationship to your hobbies that you're gonna want to use at school. Next, I have my fairy lights and I already put the batteries in them so that I don't have to worry about getting batteries when I go. Uh, but yeah, they just have little clips on them and stuff, so, woo. Okay, now we're starting to get into the stuff that I bought and I'm really excited for it because I got a lot of it today. Okay, so to start with, I just got a big pack of hangers. I have 30 and they're the velvet hangers. Um, I don't think I'll probably use 30 hangers, but it is a possibility, so there we go. Next is something that doesn't really apply to college necessarily, but sort of. So I got new shoes um, and I'm super excited. I got most of my stuff at Marshalls, TJ Maxx, home goods that type of thing they're all the same company they are cheaper options and things sell out there very quickly so it definitely is it's always new and popular things um and yeah you can't beat the price especially when you're on a college kid budget i got these shoes at marshall's and i was so excited because i did not expect to find these there i was planning to go to a shoe store right after actually um and then these were right there in my size and they were the only pair. So I felt like it was meant to be and I had to get them. I am so excited. I haven't ever owned any Nike shoes and I know these are like not super popular now and that they were really cool like a couple years ago, but it's really, it's really cool to me because I've never had like super fancy shoes like that. Anyways. Yeah, so I'm just, I'm really excited for them. And I feel like they're going to really go with a lot of my outfits. So buy things that you can mix and match quite a bit. A lot of basics. You're not going to have a ton of closet space. So just be really conservative with how much you bring and try to bring as many really versatile pieces as you can. So for me, that means a pair of white basic tennis shoes. And then I'm probably also going to bring um a pair of black shoes and then one maybe two pairs of heels maybe some crocs but i don't own any of those and i'm not sure if i want to spend money on that so we'll see okay next is some more general things like lysol wipes you're going to want to clean as soon as you get to your room because you don't know who lived there before you you don't know how clean they were a lot of students are pretty considerate of the next person moving in after them but me personally i just i want to wipe down everything disinfect it all so i feel like it's a clean space and that i can really make it mine and i don't have to worry about what else was there before i got there wipes um disinfectant spray anything that works for you for me i probably will bring a disinfectant spray for general use this just was mostly for when i haven't moved in yet but other than that i'll probably just keep it under the sink for any of my roommates to use next i have um just like a protein shake supplement mine is a uh, cold brew coffee flavor which i'm super excited for i only thought they made this in like a chocolate flavor or like a natural 
unflavored one. Nutrition as a college student is super, super important because it can be very tempting to feed into whatever your cravings are or completely forget to eat. I know that's an issue for me is I'm, I just get busy, I get in my head and I don't hear my body saying, hey, I'm really hungry, especially since we can't have any toasters or anything except a microwave in a fridge. I think that having a shake really helped me with that. And since it tastes like coffee, I want to avoid having too much caffeine because I feel like it just really bogs me down. So replacing it with this will be a really good choice. Next, I just got some nice toothbrushes. They were pretty cute. And like I said, I want our shared bathroom to be a nice environment. So uh, yeah, toothbrushes, woo! Next, I have some reusable cleansing wipes. They're going to be a good sustainable option. Next up, is my foam mattress topper. Everybody said that you definitely want one of these because they said the, the mattresses aren't too bad, but they're just not gonna be as nice as your bed at home and sleep is really important. So yeah, foam mattress topper. You can also get like a mattress pad. Some people said that they have both and they really like it. So I'll probably get both just because you know, I want my bed to be a nice space. It's basically my only space on campus that's only for me. So I just, I really want to make it nice. I just got mine at Target. Again, the Room Essentials brand, it's pretty affordable. As a note, just make sure that when you're buying bed sheets, toppers, anything, that you get a twin XL size because the mattresses at GCU are a twin XL or for whatever college you're going to just double check the mattress size before you order things for it. The next one's a little bit silly. I have, I don't want to say it's a fake because I'm not trying to fake it. It's like a dupe of the Marc Jacobs tote bag in like a regular convenient size and I absolutely love it. So I got a giant one too for like overnight stays to just throw all my stuff in but especially for college because the one I have right now, it barely fits most of my stuff that I need for class. It's pretty nice and I still do use it, but this one, it's, I mean, it's huge. And I can fit my entire MacBook just in the zipper pocket. It's great. So got this from Temu, T-E-M-U, if you haven't heard of it before. It's pretty dope. They have a lot of cheap stuff and a lot of things that would be good for your dorm. I did get two really cool flower vases from there. One was like the statue of David and one was like an anatomical heart. And I'm a biology major, so I thought that, that was really cool. But my dog ended up breaking them right after I planted plants in them. So I don't have those anymore. Anyways, yeah, a tote bag. Also for beach days or other things. There's a lot of activities when you're at college and I can think of a billion reasons why you want a tote bag in general. You can just throw it in the washer if you ever get anything on it. So yeah, tote bag, garbage can. Uh, this was just a really cute one at Marshall's and I thought it would be nice for my bathroom. And uh, it's like a step one. So I thought that was fun, cutesy garbage. And then to go with that, I got a cute toilet brush. So exciting. You know, you're an adult when you're excited about a gar garbage can and toilet brush, but they match, so. A lot of the students from my college are out of state. They're flying in. They don't have a lot of room to pack things with. Whereas I am only like two to three hours away. So I just wanted to take a advantage of the fact that I have a much easier time moving things than my roommates will and try to help them out with that so that they don't have to pay for storage or just worry about having to buy everything right after they come to a brand new place and they're starting in a new college and everything. I just want to try to take care of a lot of those things for them and try to make it homey so that when they come it's really nice. Um, also my move-in date is one of the very first ones available so I will be the first person in my room and I wanted to just take advantage of that. Next, I have kind of on the same wave as the protein shake. I got a bunch of multivitamins. I got like the melatonin one um, because a lot of people just recommended bringing melatonin for times that it's like hard to sleep either because 
like you have an important task coming up or your roommate's being loud or whatever. So melatonin, uh, I got a probiotic. And then this one just has vitamin D in it. And my dad is like a very strong believer in vitamin D. So I don't know. Next is floss. Flossing is important. And also they were just kind of cute. And like I said, it's cheap. So I'm gonna take advantage of it and not have to buy it later when it's probably more expensive. Next. Ooh, flower pot. Oh. Um, so story time. I also bought a room spray. I realized when I opened my trunk that it was spilling my entire car ride. And apparently most of it made it into that vase. But at least it's gonna smell great in here. It's just a little one for my dorm because plants make me happy. Uh, tweezers. This is college specific, at least for me, because I'm not gonna have my parents to go steal them from all the time. Liquid hand soap in a cute bottle that I got because pretty sure this that this will also match with the garbage can that I got. Yeah, just again, making the bathroom look nice. Uh, not super college specific. Woo! Um, shampoo and conditioner. I have, I found this super cute whole entire set at Marshall's, so uh, I bought it because at my college we all get to keep the bottles inside of our inside of our bathroom. There's enough space for all of us to have our own shampoo and stuff. So yeah, shampoo, shampoo and conditioner, and then uh, body wash and body lotion, binders, binders, binders. You're just gonna need one for. Who knows what, um, especially in lab classes, you're printing out so many, it's probably easier to just print them all at once and then have them to just go and grab. You don't have to worry about printing everything before class and then maybe not having it if you forgot. Uh, and you know, you can separate it by dividers and everything. Binders, so exciting. Next, I have a rug that I bought. Uh, also not going to take this out of the package because It'd be a mess to try to pack up. You never know what's in a carpet and you can never really get one clean. So if your dorm room has carpet or even hard floors, just get a rug. Either it's gonna be more comfortable than your floor or it's going to be cleaner. Rug. Next, I have dishes. Uh, I just got these at Target. They're like the 50 cent ones that everybody always talks about. Um, Cups, two cups to go with it. And then I got they do have like plastic silverware that goes with it. When I was getting mine, they didn't have any in the correct color. So I just got real silverware. And also I have this thing about silverware that like it has to be heavy. Like it just has to be heavy enough for me to use it if it's not, I don't know, it freaks me out. Silverware, two bowls, two cups, two plates. It was $3, you know, it's not, you don't have to make a big investment into a super nice silverware set. After that, I have one of the rolling carts because every single person I've seen tells you to get one of these. Um, again, Target, Room Essentials brand. Target ships your stuff for free, no matter what it is. Like I just got like a $5 shirt shipped because I just really wanted it in that color. Anyways. Uh, next, I just got a cork board for under my door for under my bunk bed because I am planning to turn my bed into a bunk bed and then put my desk under there so it's a nice little study nook. Um, just to put notes, Polaroids, whatever, um, reminders for specific classes, things like that. I also got this at Target and it's just like really lightweight so I'm not worried about having to hang it up with command strips or anything. Anything that you need to hang up, make sure you get a version of it that's pretty lightweight because most colleges won't let you put any holes in the walls and now we're almost done so here's just a couple little things that i think are important to bring poster cards i ordered mine but you can also just print out your own because i do have a few that i printed that are just pictures of like me and my boyfriend um certain biology type things that are important to me my cat most of the posters when you order them they're going to be in like a four by seven size and then you can also print that exact same size at Walmart for pretty cheap. Since they're just mini posters, they're really lightweight and going to be easy to tang up and to take down. White out because obviously poster tape. 
um there's some i got this one at the dollar store and it's already like pre-cut and then i got this one just at walmart and it's like the a nicer brand so this will be nice when i'm hanging up you know little things like my poster because it's, it's pre-cut but this will be nicer for anything that's slightly heavier and then ibuprofen band-aids push pins i got these at target also they're just cute ones to go with my cork board and sticky notes because i have always thought that sticky notes are like kind of a funny thing until i got to college and now i use them for everything you can get the aesthetic ones but also make sure that you get some bright colored ones because it's something that's like really important you want to make sure that you have bright colored ones so yeah and then that's basically it for now i'll do sort of a recap and i'll include anything that i missed when i actually start fully packing hopefully this helped let me know if you have any questions and also let me know if there's any specific content you want me to make whether that's things for like the canyon and cypress dorms or just my experience as a dual enrollment student how transferring works for grand canyon university specific questions like that are fine but also like just generally yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you later mm -hmm.